Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make fried lobster and waffles with spicy syrup. This was delicious and fun to make, so let's get started with the video. We're gonna begin by making our waffles. In a bowl, add one and three fourths cup of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Whisk your dry ingredients together until well combined and then set your bowl to the side. Next, separate three eggs. Take the bowl with the egg whites and then beat the egg whites with an electric mixer until stiff peaks form. When you're finished, set your egg whites to the side. Now, in a large bowl, add your egg yolks and one third cup of sugar. Beat your egg yolks and sugar together until your mixture is a pale yellow. Once your mixture is a pale yellow, scrape down the sides of your bowl. Then add a half a cup of unsalted melted butter. Once you've mixed the butter into your mixture, add 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract and 1 and 3 fourths cup of buttermilk. When you've mixed all your ingredients together, scrape down the sides of your bowl and then set your wet ingredients to the side. Now take the bowl with your dry ingredients and create a well in the center. Then pour your wet ingredients into your dry ingredients. Whisk your wet ingredients and dry ingredients together until almost combined. After you've done that, use a spatula to gently fold the egg whites into your batter. Once you've folded in your egg whites and your batter is smooth, you can now begin cooking your waffles. Now, heat up your waffle maker and grease it with butter. Next, add 1 3rds cup to a cup of your batter. The amount of batter you use will depend on the shape and size of your waffle maker. Spread your batter throughout the waffle maker, and when you're finished, all you have to do is cook your waffle. Mm -hmm. 
When you finish cooking your waffle, take it out of the waffle iron. Then just repeat this process until you run out of batter. Now we're going to make our spicy syrup. In a saucepan, add a half a cup of maple syrup, three tablespoons of honey, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of pepper, one fourth teaspoon of chili powder, one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and one teaspoon of paprika. Then mix everything together until well combined. When everything is mixed together, bring your mixture to a boil. Once your syrup has been brought to a boil, remove it from the heat. Then let it stand for 15 to 30 minutes to allow the flavors to blend together. Then strain your syrup. Straining your syrup is optional, however it's going to be even more spicy if you don't. Then just place your syrup in the fridge until you're ready to use it. Next we're going to prepare our fried lobster. Cut the top of the lobster tail down the middle. Then take out the meat but do not remove it from the shell. Cut the top and bottom of the lobster tail to check for any veins or impurities. Then give it a good rinse. I'm also going to be frying some shrimp that I've already deveined and deshelled. Next, season your lobster and shrimp. I seasoned my seafood with pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, Old Bay, and Cajun seasoning. When you finish seasoning your lobster and shrimp, set them to the side. Next, in a bowl, add a half a cup of buttermilk, one egg, and about a teaspoon of Old Bay hot sauce or regular hot sauce. Mix all these ingredients together until well combined. When you're finished, set it to the side. Next, in a dish, add one cup of flour, pepper, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and Cajun seasoning. Then mix your seasonings into the flour. When you're finished, you can begin coating your lobster and shrimp. Dip your lobster tail meat into the buttermilk mixture. Make sure it is completely coated. Then coat it in your flour mixture. Once your lobster is completely coated, set it to the side. Then coat your shrimp. Fill a pot or a deep fryer with vegetable oil and then heat it up to 350 to 375 degrees. Then fry your shrimp for about 2-3 to three minutes or until crispy and golden brown.
When your shrimp have finished cooking, take them out of the pot or fryer and then place them on a wire rack or a paper towel cover plate. Next, fry your lobster for about 5 minutes or until crispy and golden brown. When your lobster has finished frying, take it out of the fryer or pot and then place it on a wire rack or paper towel covered plate. When you finish frying your lobster and shrimp, you can plate everything up. And this is the finished result. Everything came out so well! The lobster and shrimp were crispy, well seasoned, and perfectly cooked. The waffles tasted amazing, the spicy syrup was a perfect balance between sweet and spicy. Overall, I think this is a pretty good dish! I hope you guys like it too! That's it for this video, thank you guys so much for watching! Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe! Bye!